A Sacramento skier was recently honored by the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum as they opened an exhibit featuring her groundbreaking gold medals. Cindy Castell Castellano Enos was the first American woman to win gold at the Winter Paralympics. At the time that she broke that barrier, skiing was only part of her challenge, but it was also what brought her the joy that launched her past her competitors. I loved racing, so it was fun to see myself in, in, those, in those days. I really enjoyed that very much. Decades after becoming a gold medal Paralympian, Cindy Castellano Enos had no idea she had also made history with those races. I really didn't know that I was the first female Paralympian in alpine skiing, gold medalist in alpine skiing, until I got a call and saying we really would like you to be part of the museum. That was the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum in Colorado Springs. It created an exhibit dedicated to the history she made as the first American woman to bring home gold medals in the Winter Paralympics. The display includes a three-story ski photo, two of her medals, and she's part of a film that all visitors see. Every single day, what determination was, was putting one foot in front of the other in the face of often really, really challenging odds. To have them recognize the accomplishments of Paralympians equally and to be part of a display that says, wow, folks, we did it. Before she was a Paralympian, she was part of the 1970s era Bonnie Bell ski team, representing a company known for its lip gloss. You race down the mountain, and if you beat the time of the Bonnie Bell girl, you got to kiss the Bonnie Bell girl. And so it was exceptionally sexist. But at the time, it was one of the few ways that a woman could be in the ski industry. The barriers were compounded by a work accident at the age of 19, in which she lost her left hand. Societally, it was more or less expected that you were going to go inside and never come back out. But that wasn't Enos's expectation. And despite her physical injury, along with severe post-traumatic stress disorder, here's how she became a Paralympian. It is about the everydayness of achieving a goal. And it's about courage, but mostly it's about joy. Do you still ski? Yes, absolutely. How would you describe your skiing these days? It is fast Turn it up. and very aggressive. <laughs> and usually people are saying, I need to slow down. <laughs> and it's part of why she still inspires a display of what it looks like to shatter expectations. And I think we were able to exhibit to the American public what we were really about, which was, again, what I would call that joy of living and of, of competing. So after winning a series of gold medals, Cindy earned a law degree and went on to a high profile career, including as director of the Department of Managed Health Care in Governor Schwarzenegger's administration. She's also worked extensively with war veterans, focusing on both physical injuries and PTSD.